But there's many reasons why you might want to use a frit in a glaze. And I'm already logged into my account at Insight Live and I'm going to demonstrate one of them. One of the things that a frit can do is bring barium or lithium into a glaze without having to deal with the problems of the carbonate forms of these materials. For example, the gassing that they cause. I've got a glaze open here. This is a popular Albany slip, slip glaze that was used for years. And I'll click on lithium carbonate. Notice it has 59% LOI. That's going to have to gas off of that during firing. So we need an, uh, 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 a frit to supply that. So let's search in here for frit 493. Now I'm not finding it because I forgot to check show reference materials. There we are. Frit 493. Now we have this supports or this supplies lithium. Notice it has 11 percent. Now we have a little bit of a problem here. It supplies other oxides as well. And if I click on lithium carbonate, lithium carbonate has 40 percent lithium. So obviously it's going to take a lot more of this material. So I'll just duplicate this recipe over here and I'll edit it and let's change this lithium carbonate. I'll just um, copy the name of this frit over here, drag it over and drop it here and I'll put in let's say three times as much and that means that I have to reduce the Albany slip to 60, 66 and I'll go save and done. I'm just going to go into calculation mode here and then I'm going to turn off the tin because I have it turned off in the other recipe so it's not in the calculation. And now notice I've oversupplied the KNAO by a lot and also I have too much silica. Now I don't have a material in the recipe that contains sodium and potassium or silica that I can reduce to compensate. So this is of course one problem with using a frit like this to supply the lithium. Um, the chemistry of the host glaze has to be such that adjustments can be made to accommodate the other oxide, the other oxides that the frit brings along. And another problem is that I've brought in B203 that I don't want and plus I haven't even supplied all of the lithium. So let's try it in another recipe that has other sources of boron and sodium, potassium and silicon alumina. But before I go back or do that, um, another reason why we've had problem in this recipe is this lithium carbonate, 11%. That is a lot of lithium in a glaze. And so you would never normally find that much. So let's close these two recipes by clicking this little icon here. And I'll open this one. 1214W with lithium boost. And then I'll duplicate it. Now before editing this recipe, let's just think for a minute. I'm, I'm going to need, based on the last experience, probably four times as much lithium or frit as lithium carbonate. So that'll be 20. Now if I click on this frit again, notice that it supplies sodium as much as a feldspar. And so I'm probably not going to need that feldspar at all. And this frit also applies boron, but not as much boron as this frit. So I guess I need to look here. And so I'm going to need less of that frit. So let's edit that. And this lithium carbonate. I'll replace that with the fusion frit F493 and we'll put 20. And then I'll save it and then I'll click this checkbox and click to delete that line and then we'll click done. Now if we compare the chemistry here you can see that I've undersupplied the calcium oxide and I've oversupplied KNAO and B203. So let's make some adjustments there. So first I'll go into calculation mode and second, I'll set these to be non-unity formulas. And then we need to scale my screen down a bit so we can see more here. So I'll zoom out. Now these formulas look a lot different. Um, first of all, items that would be trace amounts when the formula is unified are shown here and they're not shown on a formula. 
and second because this is not being unified it's just a raw formula um, it's just showing me the relationship between the numbers so because of this when I put in a material that supplies more than one flux fluxing oxide all the rest of these numbers are not going to jump around I'm not going to have this moving target to have to deal with when I supply oxides now I'm tempted to supply the calcium first from the wallastonite but it's always better to deal with the more complicated materials first especially the ones that are supplying boron or sodium and potassium and so let's deal with this frit first so I'll type in Li up here to highlight the lithium and I'll take that frit down and I'll keep moving that down and you can see the red highlighted numbers there so now I've gone too low but I'm gonna leave it there and now I want to reduce the frit 3134 and I'm gonna take that down and I'll type in KN up here until those numbers match and I've got to go quite a ways here okay so we're, we're there we're close enough to see a problem here now I've got the KNAO down in the same range but notice that the B203 is now it's too low so if I was to bring that up by increasing the frit then the sodium is going to be too, too high so I'm going to have to make a compromise there and also notice that my alumina is quite a bit lower I'm going to have to add quite a bit more kaolin to to match that up but the problem is I already have 25 parts out of 81 kaolin so I'm going to have way too much clay in the recipe and there's going to be a problem with with uh, cracking of the glaze as it dries and then uh, possibly crawling during the firing now the problem is right here this frit notice that it has no alumina so I need to have a frit that's like this but that contributes some alumina so I don't need to have so much clay and it just so happens that there is a frit that is exactly that so we'll search for 3124 over here and I'll click there for 3124 and here we are and this one has alumina and the chemistry of the rest of it is almost the same as for 3134 so let's put that in so I'll edit this and we'll change this to 3124 and I'll click save and done but notice that it's not linking up to the chemistry here so it's because I didn't type in the name right so let's go ferro frit 3124 to match the name that we see over here and then I'll go save and done again so I'll type B2 in here and I'll start increasing this frit 3124 until I can match up the B203 and I'm gonna have to move quite a ways there because this frit doesn't have quite as much B203 as the other one had and now maybe I'll just bump up the um, frit 493 maybe half of a percent try to match this number up better that's good and now we can do the calcium so we'll do elastonite I'll take it up maybe two at a time and we'll keep moving I'll type in CA here we'll keep increasing that elastonite until those numbers match. well we've got it already so then I'll change this back to one and put B203 B2 there and then I'll just take this frit down just a touch to match that up a little bit better and now I need to supply a little bit more alumina so we'll do that from the kaolin and we're good already and now I'll just match up the silica there that should be good and now I'll just retotal the recipe so we'll go edit 100 retotal and then I'm going to set it to back to unity formula and unity formula so now notice that the loss on ignition that's calculated is way down here so that's going to reduce the tendency to pinhole or blister I also probably could have matched up the CAO a bit better by bumping up the elastonite but this is fairly close um, 
Also, I'm being content to match up the total of the potassium and sodium rather than them individually because they have similar functions. Um, I have a little bit less B2O3. I could have matched that up better too. I have one less material in my glaze now, but of course there's more frit, so the glaze is going to be more expensive. Now to remove the calculation mode, I just need to click the search button, and then I'll click report, and there's my recipe that I can print and try.